The Teletubby's son baby has a baby. We've been alive for too long. <laughs> We've been alive for too long. I mean, not really. <laughs> it takes like 19 years <laughs> for her. Well, I don't know what she actually is, but uh, at a bare minimum. Even less than that. Ugh. <laughs> Ugh, <fuck. laughs> but, but you get the point. Anyways, we're okay. We're okay. But you're not old. Or we are old, and who cares? <laughs> what? What? What do you? What do you gain from like? Oh my God! I'm so old. I'm so young. Nothing. You gain nothing. Be happy. <laughs> Focus on what makes you happy, uh, and what kind of cost-benefit analysis suffering can be worth your potential future happiness. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, hiya! Welcome back to Try Not to Grin. This is our series where we explore our memes tab in the Discord with you guys and your insanity uh, slash humor, which I always love and cherish. So thank you for continually uploading stuff on there. Much love. Even on the series. Personally, as long as the five people that upload memes and myself are here, here we go. <laughs> but we probably should at some point re reorganize it to try to attack it from a different way. Maybe. But the memes tab will always be talked about, okay? <laughs> so give, give there's your investment is safe, I suppose. Send me smiling pics. Literally me at, at everyone. Like, you motherfuckers are beautiful. I love seeing you happy. I love your face. Uh, who gives a shit if it's uh, a bad photo? Your smile is beautiful. A uh, cox gun? Now motherfucking laugh and uh, and shut up. I hate you. <laughs> I don't know why. You're not my kind of people. You seem like you don't know yourself really well, but yet you're telling me how I ought to be. <laughs> okay. You got cock and gun. Tell me to laugh. Hey, you're actually great. Don't tell me how to get past my own fucking problems. <laughs> okay. Oh, oh, I'm so... Now, hey, hey, now that you said I, I have a beautiful smile, it's all good. <laughs> I now love myself. It's journey complete. <laughs> I tried to think of the worst possible take <laughs> and or angle. <laughs> I could take to someone being nice, but also kind of, um, like, aggressive. Uh, but a part of me... Because to me, I always try to think of that, where, like, I am genuinely happy for people, and, and I enjoy people, like who I guess that's the thing I enjoy authenticity of somebody being like good and comfortable with themselves when I can tell somebody is like posturing or doing something that they don't want to do or doing something that they feel like they need to do because of like again like oh Instagram look I'm eating food smile and I don't know why man maybe it's my maybe it's a nonsense perspe perspective but I've always been pretty good about telling like I don't know like uh, empathizing with others and being able to feel what they're actually feeling. I can always tell when there's like some fog in the air and I'm like, hey, are you okay? And that's gotten me into so much goddamn unnecessary shit so much, so many times where like a person's now crying two minutes later and I'm like, oh fuck, I don't know how to handle this. Why did I open this door? <laughs> I knew it was there. I don't know what to do here. <laughs> shit. Um, but anyways, yeah. Uh, <laughs> to me, I also think of like why I don't like when I see sometimes people, uh, I don't know, it seems like inauthentic ways of being. If someone's not comfortable, you know, showing themselves or, or, or doing X, Y, Z, I don't think by saying like, you got to do it and you look great and all this stuff because I maybe it's fucked up, but like it could help. It probably does help in some way. Goddamn son. Um, but in another way, I don't think it addresses the actual root of the problem, which is like feeling whole, feeling self-love and feeling feeling all those things. Uh, but I also realize this is just a fun meme and I was just trying to find the worst take on it possible. I'm getting hit in the face by a god ray. Beforehand, it was hitting the mask, which looked kind of cool. I didn't mention it in the last part, but it was dope. <laughs> Anyways, people be like, you're bad at talking, bitch. I, you, you, you. <laughs> <laughs> my, my dyslexia was trying to read what my brain already does and it was like ah, da, 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 da. <laughs> man you you guys want to know what is some like fucking peak prime real estate advice from your boy who used to be the worst at talking mainly because i used to always edit my my fuck ups and that's the worst thing you could possibly do so like when you're making a video you do a voiceover you're just talking and then you're like Hello, or you'll be like oh. What am I even, like, I'm, I'm rambling, what am I trying to say, that's what I'm trying to say, and then I'll go back into it. What is far better is finding ways to recover. So just go forward, go forth and conquer. Just speak as much as you can, and get really good, and like, revel in the fact that you're, oh fuck, I fumbled. And then think, what is the most charming way to recover? So that's what is the best way to come back? Because, again, it's like kind of like the same idea of like, 
would you rather be a person that like when when in in the face of criticism you have really uh thick skin or would you rather be the person that can regenerate or just completely like oh i got hit but i can recover oh i fumbled but i can get back up real quick and make it feel like it didn't even happen whoosh 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 that kind of shit and that's that, that's the best if you struggle at talking just keep charging forward but don't don't go too crazy. The whole goal is just to be like, and how do I bring us back? <laughs> how do I come back to center? Anyways, we're doing the thing that I always do, or I just ramble about the memes <laughs> that are not even the memes. Okay. Yai Miko, eating all damn wishes. Ha, huh. ha, huh. my nose. Huh. Anyways, uh, yeah. We're not gonna talk about Yai in this video, but I have thoughts. <laughs> I have thought pain 200% suffering 18% copium the good those are chump numbers frankly <laughs> nice <laughs> we have no laws to fit your crime I don't know man I guess not I feel like I you could tell because they're actually packaged like really well those chocolates are stupidly good packaged you played D&D &D with my 11 year old cousin yesterday and it was his first proper uh, session he had a real bad luck with his dice rolls, and his elf just died. After a solemn pause, looking over his character sheet, he writes Junior <laughs> next to his name and proclaims, I am here to avenge my father. <laughs> this never happened, probably, <laughs> but the, the mental fun thought was enjoyable. I thought this was going to go an entirely different way, because uh, I, I got a blast from the past of my childhood, and, uh, and... For whatever reason, and this is my weird perception of like childhood raising, um, but I was introduced to Hadada when I was probably like six or seven years old because I had brothers. And I just was like, okay, whatever. It's nothing. It's just like, you know, sex doesn't, whatever. <laughs> uh, this was happening. Got it. Weird. And then uh, you mature and you're like, this is awesome. <laughs> and it, it works out. But then I also played GTA when I was like eight uh, and etc. So like some people who are like, oh my God, your kid, your kid could turn horrible. It's like. I always just talk to my parents and they're like, this is what's happened. This is why it's happening. Okay. <laughs> I'm like, cool. All right. <laughs> and they just, and it was just, that was it. Uh, but anyways, the reason why I bring this up, my weird <laughs> introduction to things maybe too soon was uh, when we were playing a charades with, when I was like a, a 10, I think with my cousins and, uh, and what do you call it? My cousins were like hinting at stuff. Like cause some of the charade cards are like, uh, the only way I could like instantly get this to you is, is by saying, uh, like a sexual thing and then I would immediately just say blowjob or something and and his cousin was like yeah <laughs> that's that's right and I was like okay <laughs> and she put that in the car and eventually everyone at the end of the day and it was like what the fuck happened to you and it's funny because I was always I don't know what it is maybe it's like demeanor but I think I've always given off the like the like <laughs> the, the childhood wonder ha huh? <laughs> kind, of, kind of like tiny unsuspecting individual kind of aura to where it always throws people off but anyways point being i thought that was gonna go away it didn't go <laughs> i thought it was gonna be like the kid said some horrible shit everyone's like 11 year olds with ipods jesus christ where are you going so fast to the hudada she's touching his arm i always wondered how this went because my brain always just goes to like just being nice <laughs> like you know because i don't know maybe in hindsight, I always look back at my, like, my, uh, school days, my, my, whatever, high school days, etc. 25, by the way. <laughs> Crazy, but, anyways, I always look back at my school days, and I'm like, man, everyone was real touchy. And then I think back, I'm like, well, they weren't really touching other people. And then I have, like, this catch-all of, like, did they think I was gay? Or did they, in, like, and just, in, like, trust me that I wasn't gonna get weird about it? I don't know. And I think it was probably a mixture of both, with some and not others, because I later found out that some actually were, uh, supposedly, had crushes or whatever on you, and you're of course like, oh, I had no idea. Neat. Can't do anything about that now, so I'll just drop that, but dang. <laughs> dang. Ew. <laughs> Turtles look disgusting <laughs> in hindsight. They're just like fucking all gelatinous. Also, is a turtle like in, yeah, they have to be like fused to the shell, right? Or is it like chitin? Like, can you rip a can you rip a turtle out of the shell without it being like? I don't think so, right? Yeah, because it seems like they're sealed in there. You are not a dumpster fire. You are a you are a multi-dimensional dumpster phoenix. I thought it was gonna be a whole something to be like, you're not a dumpster fire. You're a phoenix in the in the, in the dumpster or something. But don't don't misunderstand. You're still in trash, okay? But maybe you can emerge. 
smelling like garbage, like burning garbage. It's, it's honestly, there's not a lot. You got to really get out of there. You got to really change. Get, get to be a different person. Also, I can't hear these, but enjoy them. Me. I think these are millennial memes, which is to say, not memes. They're just chaos incarnate because we'll talk about it. Okay, so I think, so here's the thing. I think people explain like millennial, or not millennial, whatever it's called, Gen Z. Millennial, I think guys, is, I'm not sure if it's me actually. I might be Gen Z, who the fuck knows. People were saying that the reason why Gen Z memes just are a chaos incarnate, they make really no sense, uh, is because apparently they grew up with memes more so they always were introduced to like the kind of perceived punchline to a joke uh so they're conditioned to like expect a punchline uh that's kind of obvious and because the mind always wants something that it didn't have it just wants to be surprised and, and stimulated so the fact that something that you could never expect you could never understand boom comes out and then they start laughing a part of me thinks that's bullshit <laughs> and just not true because it, every time I see somebody laugh at like uh, like a, one of those memes meant for Gen Z people, it seems like they're laughing because everybody else is laughing and not because it's funny. It's almost like they're like, ha 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 myself out of my stupid life. But, but, but that seems like the sense. It doesn't seem like they're ever like, that's hilarious. It's just like, I don't know, dude. <laughs> like that's, that's the sense of like, fucking what? Like it's like a chuckle of confusion. But it's not like punchline, bang. Remember when it was just, I'm gonna kill myself memes, and that was enough? <laughs> and now it's. The question is, is it an age thing, or is it a generational thing? Because I feel like when some people get old grandpa shit, I haven't seen a grandpa ma ma man laugh at like a. Hella, hella, uh, millennial meme that's just like punchline shit. So maybe it's just a age bracket nonsense thing. You know, who knows? Surrender, Catwoman, your nefarious plan, uh, to flood the secret World Wide Web computers with pictures of your, of cats will never work. So the joke here, I suppose, is, is that cat, because there's so many cats on the internet, it has to, like, what, what can we attach it to? Catwoman. The DC Universe, Batman, joke. <laughs> it's, it's, it, yes, you're like to, to me, this is like boomer humor, <laughs> like where it's just like, yeah, they connect, but there's no real punchline. <laughs> it's just like a, like a, like it's just like yeah, these things connect, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> but it's not like boom, <laughs> which I, which I want to. So maybe it is. Maybe it is a generational thing. Who knows? Who knows? But I feel like that because I'm trying to pinpoint. What is defined as boomer humor? And it's almost like, like, you know, it's classic. People see the comic books of, like, a man being like, My wife sucks ass. <laughs> that's, that's the humor thing or, or something like that. But I don't know. I'm waiting for, like, a big punchline, big zing. I don't know. I can get it. I finally got a shiny little the Pokemon, all the nature da, 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 after 4,283 breeding attempts. Nice. Uh, that poor... Uh, Ditto must be real tired, though. Dot, 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 dot. You used a ditto, right? <laughs> right? <laughs> Dude, <laughs> uh, the reason why this is funny to me is because there's so many times, it, like, my brain does not go to, like, what is, what is the best? What is the most, like, hit the, like, aim at the mark? Fire, boom, we hit our target. My brain doesn't naturally do that. My brain is much more akin to like repetition, trying things, and just finding anything, any solution. So like if something starts to work and there's a way to 10x that, I'll just 10x that instead of being like, oh, but what if I, what if I go and oh, what if I just do like play for 10 hours, get a high level thing, and then use that to like sell or like farm up those things. I'll just be like, no, this is working and I'll find a way to 10 exit and do it. But most games don't do that, luckily. But a good example of this is uh, in uh, Dying Light 2, the duplication glitch. You could duplicate a bunch of pur purples and blues, or you could just you could get, run around for a couple hours, play a little bit, get a gold item, a gold sellable item, and then you'll and it'll sell for way more, and then you'll duplicate that and then be done forever rather than having to do like six duplication runs of a shitty item just to get ahead. Anyways, Pokemon things, I made it about my whole thing. Anyways, also, holy shit, Fluff coming in hot, <laughs> absolutely warm. 
<laughs> um, with this, an animated meme. These are fables here, and I don't even know how you actually got that to work. <laughs> Frankly, we're cool. I'm a hadada. I don't want this to be clipped. I took so much hate that nothing makes me angry anymore. My cat is vegan, like me. Why is it a dude? Let's be honest, okay? And why does he look like he has big arms? Cause let's be honest, okay? <laughs> Maybe a little sexist, but, but anyways. I don't know if you see many dudes being like, yeah, let's feed an animal, but you know, oh, yeah. Blah. Although I don't know, again, I feel like these are connected, but maybe don't have a pun. I guess the punchline is that she is a cat and therefore, you know, she's like, ah, I, but, but I don't know how the furry thing is irrelevant to like, I'm a cat and the punchline being, uh, you're fucking with cats in a bad way. Ah, but it, it kind of, yeah, <laughs> it's like things are loosely connected. But, but my brain's looking for that ah, kind, of, kind of thing. I don't, I don't haven't gotten it yet. But, but that's very cool, Fluff. Thank, thank you. An exchange I'm currently having with my landlord. The hot water is broken. How? Can you send me a picture? Picture. It looks like that, but it's not hot. <laughs> it's, it's not hot. See, I don't know if. Uh, see, I think both of these. These are like this is a classic case of both y'all are assholes. <laughs> okay. Because like you like to me it's like what your landlord is looking for is anything that could be wrong in terms of the actual piping underneath the, in the thing that's what could help him like oh is there a leak is there like some sort of weird thing happening with this or that so I can actually show that to the to the to the plumber etc who's gonna come down and fix it so I can tell them what they're going to need to come down to the tools etc instead you're like <laughs> I got I'm gonna fucking dunk on this dude takes a picture of the fucking uh, <laughs> faucet I'm like. I mean, I get it, the person asked for a picture of what was wrong, but I think you can, like, you're just the idiot. <laughs> you're just the idiot about not being like, oh, I guess I could show you the pipes, I guess I could, I, my, I want the problem to get resolved, not for me to get a gotcha Twitter moment, you know what I mean, where I'm like, what? Ladies and gentlemen, that is it. I know a little bit of an abrupt stop, forgive me. Um, but yes, it is coming, it is that time. Our time together has been coming to a close. Not forever. We do also stream a great deal, and you can see me there if you so desire. But ladies and gentlemen, uh, we stream at these given times right here. Uh, hopefully, you guys, come and stop by the streams. Uh, we also will continue to make uh, videos like this because they're always too fun, at least for your boy, uh, to create. Um, but yeah, hopefully, you guys enjoy the rest of your day. Uh, hopefully, I can see you again, and goodbye.